we are doing a selection mock test selection meaning selection programming where we do if statements and stuff like that for grade 10 rt and this video covers question one so for question one we have a program that's going to take in two rugby scores for super 14 rugby match whatever super number it is at the moment so these scores will be entered into two spin edit controls obviously for team one and for team two and we must complete the code that will calculate and determine how many points each team will get. So that's the, the score for the game. So the points will be given as follows. So the winning team will get four points. The losing team gets zero points. And if the game is a draw, then both scores are the same. Then they get two points. Now, this little tricky thing here. If the losing team, if they lost by seven or less points, then the losing team gets one bonus point. So not if they drew, but if they lost, they get a bonus point so let's take this example so in this case this team team one beat team two so team one gets four points team two gets zero points in this case team two one it's got a bigger score than team one so therefore team two gets four points however the difference you see team one only lost by six points which means they get a bonus point and then in this case, they both got 17, so it's both a draw. So there's no bonus point in the case of a draw. So that's what we want to try to do with our program. So let's go to the program over here. So I've opened up there. We can see the two scores. And there in these little edit controls, we want to put the, the points. So we've got the scores. I'm going to create two variables quickly to work out the um, what the actual points are going to be for team one and then the points for team two. So ah. Uh, t1 points and then i want to make an rt2 points okay there we go rt so it's like because this is rt there we go so the first thing we want to do is we're going to check which team won so we go let's start with the basics so if the t1 score if that score is bigger than t2 score if it's bigger then obviously the team won won so if that's the case then we're going to put a begin end here because we're going to do two things well first of all the rt1 points the points for team one will be four because they've got four points and then the team two they lost so they've got no points so i'll just just do that okay so that's the one scenario else the other scenario Remember, I take the semicolon away from the end there because when you have an else, you must take the semicolon away. Else, the other option is if the T2 score is bigger than the T1 score. In that case, Team 2 won the game. So then I'm also going to do two things. What I'm going to do? Well, I'm going to say begin. Well, in this case, RT1 points is zero because they were the losing team. And RT2 points is going to equal to 4 because they're the winning team. And if it's not T1 bigger than T2, and if it's not T2 bigger than T1, then obviously the two scores are the same. So that's the only other possibility. Else, I don't even need to check it. That's the only other possibility. If that's the case, then our team 1 points is going to be a 2. And RT2 points is going to be a 2 as well. So there we go. But remember, there's else. So the line before the else must not have a semicolon. So basically what we've done here is we have done this part. Okay. So we've done if it's a draw, if the team lost, or the team won. We haven't done the bonus point. So let this is tricky. So the losing team, if the losing team lost by 7 or less points, then they get one bonus point so we need to check first of all that the team lost not drew that the team lost and then the team that lost if the difference is seven or less then then that's a problem okay so how are we going to do that well let's go to our program over here so so if we come so we know it's not going to happen over here with a draw so it could happen over here so let's inside here so in this case we know over here that team one the team won one so the team two is the loser. So if the difference between the two scores, so if T1 score, which is, would be the biggest score because they won, minus T2 score. If, if I take the T1 score and I minus the 
the team two score if that value is less than equal to seven because i think they said it's seven or less seven or less there we go if the team one score minus the team two score is less than seven then our team two has got a bonus point so what we can do multiple things here we could either increase our team two points which means add one onto it that's one way of doing it or we could just change our team two points to one that's the other option so basically because we re originally set it to what to zero so we just increase it to make it one or you can just set it to one so in this case we know that team one is the winner so we want to check if the difference between team one and team two score is less than seven if it is then team two gets the bonus point and in the case where team two won it's very similar in this case we know that team two score is bigger the higher score so if we take that score minus team one score and if that score is less than equal to seven if that's true that means the difference between team two and team one is less than seven in that case we can say okay well then our team one because team one's the losing team their points is equal to one or we could increase it like we did there so we just put this little if statement inside our if statement okay so there we go let's run it to see if it works so it's really running compiling so far no errors that's great so no syntax errors so there we go 36 and 12 we know that team one one and there's no bonus point for team two so we should see a four and a zero okay it's not displaying anything why because we haven't actually displayed it we've just worked out the points so over here that's the long we forgot to display it so in the edit control edit one points dot what property of the edit control the text property must equal to whatever our team points is team one points but this is an integer and text takes in strings so we must convert it from an int to a string and we must do the exact same thing for team two points we're going to put it in the text property what are we going to put there we're going to put the value for team two's points but this is an integer and that is a string so we must convert it from an int to a string so that it can fit inside the text property okay now it should work now we should at least see the results okay so there we go that works and now if i say that it's a draw so they both got 12 now it's two now if team two won but they just beat team one the difference is very close it's less than seven then team two should get four but team one should get one bonus point there we go and there we go it looks like it's working for the other videos from this mock test go to our youtube channel subscribe leave a comment we'd love to hear from you and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way